Welcome to this node breakdown for Mardini 2024 with Grayscale Gorilla. This is day 27, and today's node is the Labs Chaotic Shape Sub. First things first, before we begin with this, just ensure that your labs is updated. This is a fairly recently released node, so if you have an older version of SideFX Labs, it may not be part of the toolset. You can just go over to your shelf tools, add the SideFX Labs tab, update toolset, go to the Houdini launcher, and then install the package from there. Once you've done that, we can go inside and drop a Chaotic Shapes. So this Chaotic Shapes node will generate a point cloud. This point cloud is generated based on chaotic map formulas, you can see that the two presets over here are Clifford and De Jong. Those are going to be the two types of chaotic maps that you can choose from. Now, chaotic maps are just functions that show some form of chaotic behavior, where chaotic behavior is defined as a system being very sensitive to initial conditions. The small changes to the initial conditions result in chaotic outputs. So we can switch over here between a couple of the presets that are given to us. These presets just set up a couple of constants for us. So you can see over here, we have A, B, C, and D. And if you were to do a Google search for Clifford or De Jong attractors, you will find various settings for these four constants. If you want to input your own, you can switch this to manual, and that gives you access to each one of the constants. This also allows you to keyframe it and animate them over time. Do keep in mind that depending on which ones you change over here, you may not always end up with smooth interpolations between values. Okay, so let's just go back to auto. Now, we also have this over here for point count. By default, this value of 250,000 is going to be fairly low. And so just to start, we can push this up to a value of 1 million, and this will increase the density of the point cloud. We can then go over to compute the normalized density. And having changed our point count, we're going to have to make some changes to this point density over here. What we can do is reduce the search distance over here, and this will give us finer detail inside of our shapes. As you increase your point count, you're going to want to decrease the search distance, or else you'll have a situation where you have these really bright areas and big patches of color. For finer detail, you do want to decrease this value. So over here, we have a color ramp and you have all of the presets that you usually would. So you can play around with these and find interesting results. Additionally, we have a point radius down here. And if we add a P scale to this, then each one of these points can be rendered as particles with P scale, which is adjusted for density. If we display our spheres, you can see the size of each point over here. Additionally, there are some useful tools to use with this. For example, the point cloud normal node is quite a useful one for finding the directionality of these. So if you just plug this in over here, and you'll see that it generates normals. Now these normals aren't going to be perfect, but it does give you some idea of directionality. For example, if we copy the points and then just copy some lines, you can see that we end up with some directionality in this. However, you can also change this to be along the Z direction. And with this, you can then generate all sorts of fur or hair type setups. One last thing, if you do wanna download this example file, I've added my own tool that enhances the shapes of these. So it doesn't really enhance the fine detail, but it does enhance the general shapes. So as you can see, you can go from a very sparse point cloud to something like this. And this is useful if you want to convert it to something like an SDF or a fog volume. And as you can see, that gives you some interesting results. But that's all for this video. In the next video, we're going to be looking at the lab simple rope wrap. And so I'll be seeing you tomorrow with that video. Until then, bye.